Well, I'm out here in the woods again. Just kind of wanted to come out and, and uh, just be in the woods and relax a little, drink a cup of coffee, have a little fire, and, and uh, talk about the state of the elections and things like that. And You know, it's, you know, you're probably going to hear me just ramble for a minute, but uh, it won't be a very long video, but uh, we all know now that Donald Trump won, and um, he wasn't my first choice, you know, and uh, actually he wasn't even my second choice, <laughs> but I do like a lot of what he says, and I always did, and I like a lot of what a lot of the you know, Republicans said, and I don't consider myself a party affiliate, you know, my deal is whoever sticks to the Constitution, you know, follows that to the letter the most, that's the guy I go with, I don't care what side you're on, um, but, you know, now that he won and Hillary lost, because I, I, I was more of an anti-never Hillary person, that was, that's kind of my thing. And, um, you know, everybody's upset and there's big riots and protests going on right now. You have the right to protest. That's, you know, stated in the Constitution that you have the right to protest. I'm all for that. You want to protest? Protest away. But the moment you start causing acts of violence and criminal acts and violence on others, you are a criminal. And you're breaking the law. And you will be dealt with accordingly under the law, hopefully, you know. And, but now that, you know, Trump is in, though, and it, it will be our president, it, uh, it's kind of, you know, I want to talk about preparing still, you know. It's kind of uh, a, a jet. It's kind of a, kind of a, you know, you can breathe now. Because it was kind of tense there before. You know what I mean? I, I'm shocked by the results. You know, we all thought the fix was in. And uh, I'm glad, you know, Hillary lost. And people, you know, question why she lost. Well, I'll tell you why she lost. Because she's Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton lost because she's Hillary Clinton. I mean, in, in the establishment, it's all the overwhelming evidence against her is just so over. Wyoming, there was so much of it, but uh, anyway, and Trump, you know, he's not a politician, that appealed to a lot of people, people's been saying for decades on both sides of the aisle, you know, and people, you know, both sides of whatever party, I've heard people for decades saying it, I've even said it, about the economy, let's get a businessman in there, let's get somebody who knows what they're doing, get a businessman in there. Um, well, you got one. Finally got a businessman in there. Hopefully he can fix the economy. Best we can do is hope that, you know, you know, you pray that we, that he does good and sticks to a lot of what he says and things like that. But although a lot of us can take a breath of fresh air and things like that and don't seem to be in such a tense situation, that doesn't mean that we need to stop preparing because the world is still exactly as it was Monday night as it is now Saturday, but it's still the same world, same issues. Um, so, we still have to prepare as always. It may not seem like we're in such a rush, which is good, you know, especially when it comes to buying firearms and ammunition and things like that, because I started seeing, you know, days before the election, some places were getting low on ammunition. The ammunition aisles were, you know, had several people in it buying things, and they were preparing. And there was probably a lot of people who did that, preparing to buy, you know, and did buy new firearms in anticipation of them disappearing. Because if Hillary Clinton would have would have won, I most we most assuredly I would have I thought that you would see ammunition and firearms 
disappear again, you know, for a long time because people would be buying them up. Then you would see the scare, you know, again, and then people selling their AR, you know, their $600 ARs for, you know, $1,250, $2,000, which is just insane. But, you know, that's what they did. But we need to still consider, because even though we have a different president, there's still many things that can happen outside of the political spectrum. I mean, there's natural disasters. There's all these other things that can happen. You know, economy, we'll see about it. You know, there's still terrorism out there. So, I mean, always stay vigilant and keep preparing, even though a lot of it, you know, certain parts of it, you may not feel that you have to be so quickly about it. But, uh, certainly, uh, never give that up because anything can happen at any time outside of the political part of it, you know, so, um, you know, there could be, you know, we've talked about many, many scenarios, you know, there's been many scenarios discussed, super volcanoes, storms, earthquakes, Economy collapse and a lot of stuff outside of political spectrum that we need to still prepare for. Um, right now, it looks like you know civil unrest is going on. If it expands even more and gets more violent, then you know that's something that we've all prepared for too and thought about in that prepared mindset. And if you're an armed, prepared citizen, then you know. Get your stuff ready, just in case. Keep it ready. It should always be ready anyway. But uh, that's kind of my take on it. You know, it's just still keep preparing. You know, a lot of it you may not have to rush to buy so much of it now or do all that. But um, it's uh, something to not stop doing. Because just because somebody that we would rather have as president than somebody else doesn't mean that a lot of scenarios and things can't happen still. And we'll see, you know. And, you know, the time is now to continue to prepare as much as you can because anything can happen. You know, anything can happen. I mean, Trump may get in there and it may, everything may go to hell. <laughs> you know, so, but, uh. You know, all we can do is pray for him, pray for our country, continue pray, unity. And, uh, but it's just, you know, get out and enjoy nature while you can. You know, while, while you're still feeling good, feeling young, feeling energy. Um, just do it. But never stop the prepared mindset. You know, it's, now is not the time for that. You know, never is isn't the time for that. There's never not a time. But it does seem like a breath of fresh air and some hope. You know, maybe things will be better because, I mean, it seems like already tensions with the World War III and Russia talk has kind of subsided. And why wouldn't we work with them? That's the thing that people just like, oh, we can't trust Putin. Well, no, sure we can't. Never, never take your eye off the Russians. They don't take their eyes off us. But work with them still. I mean, why wouldn't you want to talk with them? They're the next biggest superpower in the world. If the two could get together and actually work together, there's nothing that we couldn't do in this world, you know? And you got to think, those Russian people, most of them are like us. They like to be on their phones. They like to play games. They, uh... They like to go camping, they like to go in the woods, they like to do things, they like to play heavy metal music, listen to music, they like to be in their coffee shops, which, you know, Russia's pretty modernized. And they like to wear blue jeans and everything. You know, we're not at war, you know, or it's our governments that get in wars. Generally, the people, you know, don't want that. They just want to just go on about their lives. So why wouldn't we work with them? You know, I mean, you have to talk to world leaders. 
I mean, I don't know why the left made such a big deal about, you know, hey, we got we to gotta talk to him. You know, why not talk to Putin? Why not? We have to, you know, and we should, no matter who you are. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see how things go. And, uh, you know, I'm here to drink some coffee and enjoy the woods. ramble a little bit about about that you know but it, that's the that's what I want to emphasize on though is preparing you still must prepare still go out and do your things that you're always doing because things can change at any time and uh, like I said not even that doesn't ha have anything to do with the political spectrum of people in that side of it there's always still that side of it of course and you never know that the political thing is so unpredictable you never know what's really going to happen a lot of times. Um, I mean, you can kind of feel it a little bit and pay attention a little bit, but the uh, but the uh, other things, always prepare for, you know, because a lot of those are a lot likely just to happen. Anything can happen. Any of those s scenarios that people think about and worry about can happen you know at any time so it doesn't matter what's going on in the world or not um, so you know although it may seem like that we can take a big breath which we can but uh, it's not time to like oh I don't I don't need to prepare anymore you know, I've got plenty of stuff. Um, I'm good. Well, that's not true. Always prepare for the unexpected. You know. And prepare for it at any time. So that's just kind of my, my two cents on the subject. And, uh, just kind of want to just share that. You know, that's kind of my thought. I've heard other people, you know, online talk about the same thing. And, I totally agree. You know, I totally agree. So, um, there you go. That's my two cents. Glad you're all watching. Glad you're all along. I, you know, some future videos I have in mind. I'm still planning on doing some winter camping. It's now like, what, November 13th and uh, 12th, 13th, something like that. And It is, you know, it's still like in the mid 60s and 70s here. So I'm waiting for it to get cold. At night it does get pretty cool, it gets down into the 40s and stuff, but I'm, I'm talking colder. <laughs> you know, I want to do some winter camping, you know, so. But, you know, I still may come out here before then. So, you know, in our area, it doesn't even really get cold until January. Anyway, super cold. And I'm hoping that we have a white winter this year, have white Christmas. Anyway, I'm going to quit rambling before this video gets too long. But that's that's kind of what I'm, you know, look forward to some more of the videos. I, you know, got some other things planned when they come along. You know, whenever, you know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not made of, you know, my other videos, I'm not made of money. So I don't have a lot of stuff coming my way at one time. I have to save and buy when I can because I have a family too. But um, there you go. So keep watching and appreciate your viewers and appreciate your comments. And um, if there's anything that you all would like to ask or see, you know, let me know. Let me know. And um, anything to discuss or just show and talk about, we can do that. Just let me know in the comments and all that. So thanks for watching.